Today is Monday, March 6, and this is Tommy Media's News in 90. I'm Sumaya Gamachu. Nearly three dozen people have been detained after filming bottles and rocks were thrown at officers during a protest Sunday in Atlanta. Atlanta Police Chief Darren Sherbaum said that several pieces of construction equipment were set on fire at the site for the Atlanta Public Safety Training Center in DeKalb County. It was the latest flare-up in a cause that has drawn both anti-police demonstrators and environmentalists to Georgia. Minnesota Governor Tim Walz will temporarily transfer power to Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan while he's under general anesthesia for a colonoscopy today. The transfer will start at 1 p.m. when the procedure begins and will remain in effect until he sends the legislative leaders a written declaration that he is again able to discharge du his duties. Waltz is expected back in the office on Tuesday. False fears of a shooting at a rap concert in Rochester, New York, sent a crowd surging towards the exit in a stampede that killed one person and injured nine others, two of them critically. Police say a 33-year-old woman died at a hospital and two other women were in critical condition. Additional people were taken to the hospital and treated for injuries that were non-life-threatening. For TommyMedia.com, I'm Smaiga Machu.